I had an experience with, the, with checking that one time. Somebody gave me a piece of paper and it said there's a festival in Bhubaneswar somewhere like Puri. I was on the train with Pankajangri and we were going to Banaras. I said, Pankajangri, look, I got a little pamphlet. It says there's a, some kind of festival. It's going to have a look. Pankajangri said, no, I'm not going. I, I went there last year and I got... Somebody ripped my bag off or something like that. I said, okay, I'll see you in Benares. So I'm going to have a look. I jumped off the train, went to, uh, and it happened to be Jagannath Puri, and it happened to be at the Atra Festival. And I didn't know anything about it. I was waiting to, for all the people to get off the train, and then I would wait a little while, then I would go, because I didn't have a ticket. So, so everybody, all the train people, then I went down, and the policeman saw me, he came. He said, where's your ticket? I said, it's in my bag. He said, let me have a look. I said, no. He said, you should show me if you've got a ticket. I said, no, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> so I go, oh my God, you know, I'm gonna get, now they're going to arrest me for not having a ticket. I'm going to go through all that. They're going to put me in the cell for a few days, question me all these, oh, all this hassle is going to happen. So I decided walking fast towards the ticket inspector, the gate, and the, the policeman was <laughs> coming behind me also, getting closer and closer, and there was a ticket inspector was there, and the, the policeman was closer and closer, and I, oh my God, I'm not going to get a, get out of this one. I got right to the ticket inspector's office, and on the right, there was a door, and I went in the door, and I was in a restaurant, it was in. <laughs> the cop, the policeman, he didn't see me. <laughs> so I, left. and then I opened the door on the other side, and I ran. Yeah, no one was coming, you know. And I went, oh, beautiful place here. All the little pukos I was walking through. And, and that's such a nice vibration here. Checking out for Ridam Key, Jay. And uh, oh, it's so beautiful here. I feel all my anxieties, they all disappeared. It's in the... Then I took some chapati and sabji. Mmm, you never tasted such nectar. Jagannath Puri Mahaprasad ki. And I didn't know anything about Jagannath. Anyway, it was Ratyatra, so I could see Lord Jagannath Balaram you know, pulling the car, thousands of people. Jai Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath. That's just imitating what everyone else was doing. Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath. Everyone was laughing, I was saying, What are you laughing at? I said, this is Palaram. John and JJ and I said, who's Palaram? <laughs> and uh, the devotees were there. Hare Krishna Ki, Jay. Prabhupada's devotees were there. Dinana, Anil Swami was there. Chichalaka, Bihari Lava. Chai Pratakamaraj just left apparently. So, right there in the presence of Lord Jagannath. And I saw the devotee, oh, it's Hare Krishna's. I seen him a couple of times in London. They used to do the nightclubs, they're very popular. So I seen him a few times, but I never spoke to them. So I, I, now I had a lot of questions. I've been in India maybe over a year by then. So I've been gathering, looking for self-realization. So I had a lot of questions. I was a high Christianist. I lost it, questions. So I thought I go. Why are you chanting Hare Krishna? In the, in the according to Hindu philosophy, we have Brahma Vishnu Mahesh and Brahma Shiva Vishnu, greater maintainer and destroyer. This is the conception, the topmost conception of God in Hinduism. I'm speaking of that. <laughs> My understanding. Here. So why you don't chant Ram uh, why don't you chant Brahma, Shiva and Vishnu also? And that the devotee and he was he was a new bhakta. <clears throat> His name was Biharila. He said we chant Krishna's name because Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. 
Oh, gee, nobody ever told me that before. <laughs> I've been smitten so many sadhus, so many... Nobody ever told me God was a person before. And here they are, first thing in New Bhaktika. Krishna is the Supreme Person of New Bhaktika. I was in Hirishikesh with what's that place, the Divine Light Mission, and he used to sit on the Swami, used to sit on the bank of the Kanga with a lot of foreign disciples, or followers, and Brahmin, sannyasi, born in India. He could not tell me. New Bhakta, uh, associated with Prabhupada for a little while, he knew. The other big Swami, they told me. I immediately accepted Krishna consciousness. Everything that my understanding when I relate related Yeah, just relating all of my unanswered questions <coughs> and uh, uh, through Prabhupada's books and yeah. questions I was asking the devotees, they were answering me from Prabhupada's, these, all these answers were coming from Prabhupada and Prabhupada's books. <coughs> exactly what I wanted to know, exactly the realize wherever I was, realization I was, everything tallied so yeah, perfectly with Prabhupada's books. Saviour of the ball, Prabhupada Ki Jai. And right in front of Lord Jagannath. So, I was uh, thinking I got a lot of mercy there. Jagannath and Balaram, Subhadra. I was in uh, Madurai, <clears throat> just coming up, when we were coming up to Puri. And uh, I was reflecting my travels in India. And uh, Madurai, Menachi Temple is <clears throat> a famous temple. There's so many gods and goddesses. And I was watching all the pilgrims, they were coming in, and, mm -hmm, turning around in circles. And, and I thought, you know, it seems like it's a mythology, this Hinduism. I thought it's pretty good, I had a good time. But I don't think I'm going to find the answer in Hinduism. So I thought the answer must be in Zen. The void philosophy. So I thought I finished my search in India. I had a good, it was good, but I'm not going to get it. So somehow or another, I was just I was going to go over to Japan and get into some Zen monastery, and and uh, Prabhupada says in one purport that when a person becomes frustrated about maintaining a form after leaving the body, and I can't remember which purport is. Uh, then he takes, to, when he comes frustrated, then he takes to some kind of voidist philosophy. Oh, well, that was me. That was right my time. I was frustrated. I'm not going to find it in India. I'm going to see if I can get it in Japan. Uh, yeah, so it, exactly where I was. Well, he, told, he told us exactly everything. But to, yeah. Out of frustration, they would turn to some voidist philosophy. I was just about to do that. Then Jack not saved it from void, being a voidist. Uh, but I was talking to one person in, in, in Manakshi. Uh, anyway, it's the same thing. Uh, but I was, when I was reflecting later on, Uh, I could see how Krishna's hand was there and so you can you come to search for God have a good look 
<laughs> have a good look. <laughs> so then when you're frustrated, when you finally give up, okay, you, you had a good look, you could find me? <laughs> okay, now you're frustrated. Now meet my devotees. This is the uh, I got from Krishna. You're trying as hard as you can. Okay, did you get it? You find God by your own uh, yeah, meet devotees. Devotees is the only way you're going to understand. So I took it, I, the picture was like that. 